Ooh, the lighting looks good. Hi guys, welcome back to a new vlog. You guys have been really liking the vlog, so I'm just gonna continue doing them. I don't think you guys get sick of all the same, like, everything basically because i've just been at home i just finished filming and i'm actually going to take an outfit pic because i got the new nella rose skinny dip collection i wanted to show you what lights i've been loving for my tiktoks and just for like taking pictures you can use it for anything like zoom uh conferences so this is the tunnel ring light and it comes with like a full stand it comes with the phone stand and obviously the ring light um and it also comes with like a usb plug-in so here i'm just going to turn it on you have three tones so you have a uh, warm cool and just natural lighting which I prefer and you can put obviously the brightness up I put it to the full max guys <laughs> so right now I'm in front of the ring light and I'm just gonna turn it off can you see that lighting just changes everything doesn't it yeah this is just really quick and convenient I love it for my tiktoks guys it's so easy to set up as well and it just comes with a usb plug it also comes with a shutter remote control so basically you connect this to your phone um or you can also connect it to your camera and it's just a clicker I always use this to take my photos from afar so yeah I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a quick easy light if you're starting on youtube or on instagram and you just need bomb lighting then I definitely recommend this ring light I will leave a link in the info box so make sure to check it out right now to clean all this mess and get straight to work asap asap i finished a tiktok which i'm so happy about and i need to have breakfast i'm so hungry oh my god oh i'm finally sat down at my desk mm. my sister's revising in the background over there you see like half of your face this is my breakfast. I put, this is just like a white toast, peanut butter, banana, cinnamon, and chia seeds. It's so good. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. This is why I hear every day, guys. Oh my god, a cup of tea in the morning. Mm. It, there's just nothing better. I used to be a coffee girl, but since I've been at home, I've just been more into the tea and coffee gives me a headache as well one thing though i thought oh let me have a cup of tea before bed i had a cup of tea and i couldn't sleep till like 2 a.m and i had work the next day so definitely don't have tea um before going to bed because i think there's a bit of caffeine in it <gasps> you bloody nasty you bloody nasty i mean you guys are just used to my sisters i'm putting on a vlog put it yeah Every time she's in my videos, that. she has to like put her signature burp into it. I mean, guys, I would vlog my whole day, but there's really nothing special for the next few hours I'm working. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I got some trainers. Um, um, my sister hates them, and they're way too small. I got a size six, and like they're basically training shoes. They're like the Metacon training shoes, and I wanted them for skip rip, skipping. But then, honestly, first of all, they're too tight. My sister said it looks like lion cereal. These would have been perfect for skip rope because they're just small, dainty shoes, right? But she hates the colour. I kind of liked it. It's got gold in the back here. These are expensive. They're like over £100, okay? Uh, but they're way too tight. Way too tight. And I don't think I'm going to reorder them. They're just going to go back. I did also order some night blazers, which I'm waiting. I ordered a kid size and a woman size. The kid size was like £43, so if my foot can fit in it, <laughs> then I'll obviously keep that one. But these are going straight back. Alright guys, we're now off to vote. I'm, I'm not going to, I don't think I can vlog inside. I want to show you what I'm voting. Uh, my name's Anushka. Okay, I just finished voting. And Luna's waiting. Oh, is that Luna bear? Oh, 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 oh. When I stop. Whoa. I'm gonna make some Vietnamese spring rolls that I've been obsessed with. They're so easy to make, so I'm just gonna quickly show you guys. I already bought some king prawns. I also sliced up some lettuce. You're also gonna need some vermicelli the noodles. They're like clear, transparent noodles. 
Another thing that you're going to need is Vietnamese rice paper. I actually bought this for £6 on Amazon. And then we went to our local Asian store and it was £1.80, guys, for the same thing. So I wouldn't recommend buying it on Amazon because it's just so overpriced. <gasps> I'm putting it everywhere. Okay, so I grated two carrots and one large cucumber with a bit of coriander. I didn't have any fresh ones. I'm using um frozen one but i would recommend uh fresh coriander because it's so much better what else did i do i like to put a bit of soy sauce and apple cider vinegar in there that's just like my little touch to it don't ask why and then for the sheets you're going to need to put like kind of warm hot water in a pan so that you can dip your sheets in for like five seconds Right, guys those are my uh vietnamese spring rolls i need to improve my rolling but these are so young my husband and i we love it actually everyone in the house loves it but yeah it's just so easy so healthy and i got this instant fish sauce with garlic and chili to eat with it this is especially for vietnamese spring rolls and it's so good and um, the nail my nail lady actually recommended this so yeah it's so good it's so yum this is what it looks like inside. I mean, it's a bit messy, but it's good. Especially with the fish sauce. Oh my God, it makes such a difference. Anyways, I'm going to go enjoy my food. Morning, guys. It's Saturday morning. I had a good lie-in. Honestly, I was so tired. Every day, normally I can like watch a bit of Netflix at the end of the day to like midnight or one. But lately, I just get into bed and I just fall right asleep, guys. Like, literally. It was nice to have a lion. It's like 11. I got up at 11 a.m. And I slept at like midnight. Anyways, I'm just waiting for my Starbucks ice chai latte to come in. I did get some new ColourPop palettes in. I'm actually going to receive these same palettes but in mini. So I might keep these for a giveaway. So they come in like little quads like this. I got some SPFs because... Honestly, without SPF, I feel naked. Honestly, I can't not wear SPF on my face, um, especially. So I bought a few from Boots. What is this called? This is the La Roche-Posay Fluid SPF 50. I Invisible Fluid. Honestly, this is so good. I've been using it for like a few years now, a couple of years. Um, so I stopped up on that and I wanted to try two new ones. I also got this La Roche-Posay one. This is a aqua gel spf 30 i don't mind spf 30 so i might try this one today Ooh, it comes in a little tube like this so then the next one i also got is the garnier <clears throat> anti dark spots and anti pollution spf 50 it says it's invisible anti-eye stinging oh yeah sometimes they can sting your eyes actually so yeah i'm going to try that on another day but i'm glad i've got some spfs now just seeing what the consistency is like. It's like a gel. I'm not used to this. It has a really subtle scent, like fresh scent, but this is so nice. You have to put like around a tablespoon amount of SPF on your face and you should ideally be touching up. There's a La Roche-Posay spray that I could put throughout the day. I saw it on TikTok but I just need to find it. I couldn't find it anywhere. It feels so nice and hydrating. I love it. I'm happy with that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, where is my Starbucks please? I'm slowly becoming a trainer freak, like obsessed. I, I just look at them and I'm like, oh my god, should I buy another one? But anyways, I've been wanting the Nike blazers for so long. Um, I ended up keeping the kids version because they were like just £43 a bargain. So I was like, why not? Um, and they looked exactly the same as the women's one. So the women's one, the only difference with the women's one was that this was suede. Yeah, it wasn't a big difference to me. So I kept it. I kept the kids one and this is a size 
but uh, no this is a size 6 and the women's one was a size 6.5 and it was a bit big so yeah i'm really happy i love these and apparently these are really good when you're working out your legs and your glutes because they're so flat so i might give that a go but yeah that's it for my haul i'm just waiting for my starbucks where's my starbucks this boy is soaking wet and he comes into the on the sofa when I told him not to. And Sky, my sister was cutting chicken up. Yeah, I'm talking about you. My sister's cutting chicken up and she went on the counter, grabbed a piece of chicken, grabbed a piece of chicken and ran away with it. She's becoming so naughty. But anyways, my Starbucks came. So this is just iced chai latte. That's all it is, but it's the best drink ever. Yesterday I tried the new brownie frappuccino and it was not that great guys so i had to make up for it and get this today laundry is done finally but my absolute favorite uh, fabric conditioner is this one by comfort it's the strawberry and lily and it always makes my clothes smell good I'm really paranoid about my clothes smelling good, you know, because one day I was in, I went to the office, I put clean clothes on, but you know, sometimes when it doesn't dry properly or if it doesn't wash properly, it has that weird smell, especially if you're like in the rain. I remember one day I got caught in the rain, I had to run to the office because I was late and I was in the rain and I was a bit wet and then I sat down in the office. The worst smell was coming off my clothes, guys. And ever since that day, I've been so paranoid about making sure that my clothes wash properly. I don't put too much in the washing machine, make sure it dries properly, and then it smells good. Because if it'd be smelling on, you know that like on that not washed properly smell. I don't know how to explain it, but it's disgusting, and I hate it so much. Just finished filming an Instagram video. I posted it. Um, I'm gonna take my makeup off. I've been quite happy with my toner. A ring light uh, to film my Instagram video so basically I put my phone on this stand oh my god guys every time I film it's just so messy I need to clean all this up but yeah the lights just super convenient Um, because I'm on my desk I've just used this stand but if I wanted to like I can put my phone there as well you just have the option it's just so convenient and yeah the lighting is just crisp I'm gonna go work out because I haven't worked out yesterday and day before yesterday and it's really bugging me and I need to work out right now. The other day I watched Without Remorse on Prime with Michael B. Jordan. It's actually a good watch so I definitely recommend it. I tried the highlight and contour technique under your like foundation and it looked really really nice but when I was filming it my camera was filming in slow-mo so it kind of ruined the quality so I'm gonna probably have to film it again. The perks of Filming with an iPhone. finished the workout guys i did it was so hard towards the end but i burnt around 230 calories which i'm happy about but today i really struggled i really felt sick because i had sushi for lunch and i just felt like the food was just coming up because i really pushed myself i'm just gonna keep it like light for the tonight all right guys i'm now in bed i've been loving these twister pika blue uh ice lollies but Apparently they've been recalled because they have traces of milk in it and they didn't state that on the box so it's like a risk to people who are allergic to milk but obviously I, like, I can eat milk so I'm gonna still eat it even though it's been recalled. Um, but yeah I'm gonna just 
finish the night off with watching station 19 i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and um, make sure to like the video if you want to see more and i will see you in my next one bye